Today we're gonna keep stacking damage until something amazing happens. It all starts with this, which actually has really high DPS, we just need to hit things in the back. While also not getting hit ourselves. Guys like this, very easy. Basically we need to kill 30 things without getting hit, or do this in under 2 minutes, but I need to take my time just to employ a little bit of strategy, that way we're sure not to get hit, but guys like this we just roll behind, same with everyone, we just sneak behind them and murder them. There's a white chest, luckily right along our path, that's just a free upgrade for one of our equipment slots. So when I want to get lazy I just pop one of those down and it'll do most of the work for me. Archers we gotta dodge, I'm gonna kill him, not sure what this thing is, a cluster grenade. That does sound like something I would want, okay archers can just die. It's all about momentum in this one. You just gotta keep rolling into the next idiot and kill them quick. Especially if you get behind them. Some of them get pretty annoying when they stack up and you just have really bad timing in areas, but for the most part, we got this under control. This is also just the beginning anyway, so nothing's gonna be too particularly hard. So far, we've killed 18 things without getting hit, so I feel like we're doing not bad. This guy was just sitting in an annoying spot, so I wanted to wait for a moment. Most guys you can just drop on and stun, and then you can kill fairly quickly. Not really sure what that is. It's got a heart on it so we'll leave it alone for now this guy is an unfortunate position here is what we're looking for we need to pick uh which color we want we're gonna do red because most of my things are red and that's usually just pure damage so that means we hit even harder and i'm pretty much gonna rely on damage to carry me through this i'm not sure why i keep managing to drop grenades but i'm doing it we need to kill two more things without getting hit i think i found my victims and we're good which is great because i found this room this is gonna spawn an elite enemy i need to see what it is before diving in there I think I got hit there. I did not, but we did get a free uh, one of these. The enemies that hit you freeze. Okay. Okay, I realize now how I was accidentally throwing so many grenades. My keybinds were, let's call them, wrong. I don't know what this is. And if we shop if we want to buy anything, which we don't. What I do want are these upgrade things whenever I can find them. We're going to take brutality again, plus 50% damage. We're already doing quite a bit thanks to my backstabby thing. Uh, that was a weird situation, so I just wanted to get away from it. We'll let him slide past. Whoops, didn't really mean to do that. But things are going to get sloppy sometimes. These stairs are where I want to go because this is the new area from the new DLC. I probably should have explored that area more. There might have been more upgrades I didn't hit. We didn't do the two minute thing, but we did kill 30 idiots without getting hit. So we get some of those and we get a choice of items here. Some of which we may or may not want. So it's a shield or a bow. We will take the bow because that one will do some considerable damage. And I'm pretty sure I can just lazily fire it like that. Now if I want, I can reforge my knife into better one so it does 790 ps and it wasn't that expensive so we just went ahead and did that anyway i can also do that to the bow i just picked up i don't want to waste my money yet now for mutation i'm going to take initiative your first attack inflicts 132 damage i mostly just want to kill things really quickly and instantly then i don't have to deal with them so this is the castle outskirts i'm not really familiar with what's here but as long as i have my knife and ridiculous amount of confidence we're going to be okay so these are just fish guys they're nothing too hard uh they might be a little bit harder because they combo attack so several times. I don't know if they attack when they're doing that. Guess not. Yeah, they don't attack till they're like sitting on you really and they die pretty quickly. But yes, that's all just a lot more stress than it has to be. I don't know what that is. Okay, there's a like a cat on the ground I think I'm supposed to catch. It might have left. The bow and arrow might also be my friend for a while. Okay, I think this time we're going to take probably tactics because we will start to rely on that stuff probably if I'm not feeling confident, which has to happen eventually, especially playing a game like this. Like that <laughs> had me a little bit nervous. It was really sloppy. Okay, we're gonna jump up and kill him in an instant. We gotta wait for him to turn around and we can kill them both, I think. As long as we get a clean hit from behind, everything dies. But that can be asking a lot depending on the situation. Oh, there's my, uh, okay, here. We got a ribbon key from the cat thing. That guy's gonna fireball me. That was close. That just happened to go over my head. That was nothing but luck. The weapon I have really isn't actually that great, but I'm just feeling it. Basically, I want more DPS. That's all I'm here for. That way when we run into boss and strong things I don't really have to learn what I'm doing I can just sort of kill them in an instant these idiots are so dumb they say walk right up the doors doors are so dangerous in this game uh these guys I'm gonna kill from a ways away because I just don't want to deal with that I have killed 30 idiots in a row I'm not sure what the number is for this level it might be more so we'll go for as many as we can it's in my best interest not to get hit anyway, let's face it. And I do need to do a better job exploring these areas because there's lots of stuff like these things to be found. There's a blood sword 4 plus with only 316 DPS. That's not good enough. Okay, now we're starting to get some bats. So we're going to try and shoot them because I'm pretty sure they're going to be weak. There's also a skeleton over there and another bat, though I'm pretty sure I already got my bonus. Uh, looks like for the bats, for the most part, I can just use my bow and arrow and we're going to be able to hit them from almost anywhere. Uh, this is a new creature and I wasn't sure what it was doing so we uh, managed to make that work. 
To be fair, I have seen these before. I just kind of panicked when I saw it because I forgot about it already. We got a new whip sword. The other fun thing about some of these enemies is they can attack through walls. I did just get a notification sound on 60 enemies killed without me getting hit, so I think that might have been the cutoff. Here's another upgrade thing, so we're going to take purple again. And another one of these, I did also just get hit, but I already got my bonus. And we found a beautiful fountain. It runs on blood. Everyone's favorite. Okay, I've explored enough of the level now that everything has come revealed, so I definitely want to go back for the treasure chest and that's about it because I'm too lazy to go further anyway. There's not even a guarantee there's anything good in this chest. Whoops, that was uh, sketchy. But we'll find out shortly and probably not. That's a different looking treasure chest. Okay, that's giving me heavy 1705 DPS. Yes, please. Oh, it's a whole bunch of different things. Well, we're up to over 1000 DPS now, so I'm actually just going to recycle that stuff. It's probably amazing, but I'm going to roll with my little stabbers, so we're just going to keep going with them. It's somehow only been 10 minutes and 50 seconds, but I do get this bonus. There's Heavy Crossbow 5+, plus, a Ruby Amulet that I don't want. These are all sad and weak. I will take this though, just because it's a lot more DPS. Oh, okay, it's one of these deals again. Never mind. Okay, I guess I'm going to take this then. Uh, I don't really like the Cluster Grenade anyway. Haven't been using these at all, because I haven't got any good ones. I can't really upgrade my main weapon anymore even though it's only a one plus plus so let's just go 18 percent damage for eight seconds after killing an enemy i tend to just fly through things very crazy like so that should coax me forward to have to keep attacking things we've reached dracula's castle for the first time you're not kidding what is that thing are you an enemy i thought there was a decoration at first oh i fought these guys before i think not here but i fought them i actually don't love how big and open this is it makes me feel like there's a lot of enemies that could be anywhere and could hit me from any little location Anyways, we're going to continue on our strategy of not going near things. That way we can kill them without getting hurt. And yes, it's very brave. There's another one of those weird lion things. He can just have my blades down there. That's fine. Ten idiots killed. Oh, good. We have just the whole gang of everyone here today. Skeleton. I'm starting to play really passively and that's not good. Like this guy will just go get. And this guy will go get. There we go. Now we got the combo going again. I don't know if I love this. Am I going to get hit by something? A big pile of corpses. Yes, it is. Okay, I pulled a drumstick out of this. We're going to recycle that. I think 60 is going to be the magic number for how many idiots we have to kill without being uh, killed ourselves again too. So that was really close there, but we got another one of these, so more damage for us. And that brings our DPS for my main weapon up to about 1200, but it's still a level one weapon. We can get much better than that. Maybe eventually we'll find a legendary. Oh, there's a big chest up there. Okay, I think there was an invisible guy there. Don't know where he came from, but I'm just going to fire away at anything. That was weird. I legitimately think he was invisible up until the point where he attacked me. So now I'm in high alert and just kind of in a perpetual state of stress. Yeah, there's definitely invisible guys. I don't know if you can see them, but before they attack, but I definitely just ran into one. There's another one, and... Okay, they're not that bad because they just lob a thing at you. I just got greedy for this chest is all. Please be something, another one of these. I already have one of these. I don't even like the one I have. Okay, well, we can recycle that for money, I guess. And yeah, of course, there's one of you here. There always will be. There might still be 60 idiots to be able to kill without getting hit, but now I've really got to be perfect. And I feel like there's probably going to be invisible idiots everywhere. So uh, those spinny things, uh, if they get a chance, they'll wind up and charge really, really quickly. Oh, Hello, guess I got hit by that. All right, well, I think for this level, because there's so many invisible guys that I didn't know about, we are going to not go for the without getting hit thing. We're just going to take things like this and we'll still get a lot more damage. DPS moves up to 1400. Oh, oh yeah, these are fun because they give you a huge risk if you open them. They might give you something amazing, but just one hit and you're dead. Okay, good. But we did get a Nutcracker V++, 2406 DPS, plus all of the cool stuff there. So, I mean, I can do this without getting hit. Uh, plus, we're going to take more uh, DPS again, so that puts us up to 2800 DPS, and we attack like this now. Kind of forgot about the invisible guys when I took that. That's okay. We're just going to attack from a distance anywhere we can. And if we see an invisible guy, we're just going to have to run. Oh, this is a really bad spot to be. We're going to try this again. We're going to okay, we're gonna drop on him and stun him then. So far, so good. I think we can kill a skeleton from up here. Okay, skeleton's just gonna get smashed. Six more idiots to go. Five more idiots. Just gotta move carefully and methodically. That one's almost dead, so I think I can just bust through on him and bow and arrow him. Gonna move around a little bit and try and clear out invisible idiots if there are any around. He might be a problem, so we're gonna kill him from here. Same uh, with the werewolf, who somehow didn't attack after he jumped. I thought I was dead there. One more idiot to go. 
I don't want to fight a bird thing in the sky because I don't know what that's going to do. The skeleton over here wants to fight. Okay, the curse is lifted. Now I won't die in one hit. Well worth the risk because now I have this thing, which is a very, very damaging monster. And we're just going to keep stacking damage on top of that. And that way we can one shot things. Our DPS is now 3200. I didn't realize we inflict a critical hit if the victim is frozen, rooted, or stunned. We're going to surprise attack this guy one shot kind of just walked into a bigger fight okay this is the problem you suddenly walk into a room that's full of a lot of things that really hurt you luckily our damage can carry us through wow this hall was full of invisible guys ow there's a lot of riches down here but it's constantly invisible guy after invisible guy there's a free weapon on the ground that's actually not bad at all that's better than mine but it's one of those two-part deals i'm not giving up my ridiculous hammer for anything found the top of the castle this guy's got a star so he's giving me one of these that's gonna give me more brutality i mean it would make sense to take hp but that doesn't add damage 3700 dps that should hopefully carry me through my poor decision making i also just found a corrupted artifact on the ground it's worth ten thousand dollars but i'll be cursed if I pick it up. I don't really feel like being cursed again for 10 grand. I don't really need the money right now. I did want to come and see what the shop had for us and it's not much. We can hold hard to refresh the shop though and the electric whip is actually really good. But I've got a big hammer and I'm going to stick with my big hammer because this. I can smash people into oblivion. Oh, uh, here is an elite enemy that we're just going to uh, three shot. Did not expect that to come charging at me. Uh, so this poisons enemies that wound you. We're going to take less damage and downward smash also burns the ground. Yeah, why not? Sometimes the creatures really do just come out of nowhere in this game but so do i to them really and the best part is we're just gonna get stronger and stronger as we go okay here's another one of the guardian scrolls i might actually take this one this time because i think it's gonna give my hp a nice boost that took us from 1500 to 2500 so that was probably worth it master's keep right now we can actually upgrade this to s quality whoops i hopefully that didn't change too much it put us up to almost 5,000 dps this does an additional 80 percent damage to poison targets we're not really doing any poison right now but that would be crazy if we could hit them with also that next i'm gonna take attack slow on enemies for 0.7 seconds mostly because i am very slow but if i hit things once and they don't die they're gonna be slow so i'll get a second hit and two hits from this will kill anything because it's hard to argue with 5,000 dps and and I'm being sucked down this way suddenly. Defiled Necropolis. Well, that's an easy way to transition from the top of the castle to somewhere else. First time I've been here. Can't wait to see what new annoying enemies are here waiting for me. Or Death himself. Well, I'm gonna have that name soon because my hammer is enormous. <laughs> Look at the chunks we're taking off of him. This is the boss. We're just gonna keep... S oh, he he's comes with a shield? Can I just keep smashing you like this? We're just gonna DPS our way through this. So far, this is actually working somewhat. He's got a shield, but he only puts it up once in a while. Smash, this is actually working. This isn't supposed to work like this, I don't think, and he's dead. I literally just kept smashing and out-damaged him in a big way. And we naturally got some loot out of that. That's a free death scythe for later if we want it. Powerful grenade. Yeah, that can replace my, uh, this thing. Now, this is Symmetrical Lance 6 plus. 1000 DPS. I don't think so. So, I definitely didn't, uh, accomplish either of the tasks I was supposed to. I guess I could, uh, do my powerful grenades stronger, but I don't really use those anyway. There's a random chest here. Not sure. We'll go to the bank. I don't know what the bank is. Also not really sure what the fractured shrines are. Apparently the bank is not like a bank in the traditional sense. I think this might actually be a dungeon. Okay, I've got a thing for the bank. I can borrow $2,000 if I want. I have 20000 so I'm not going to. But this is in fact a dungeon. Okay, I finally found a door I could go through. So I think this is where my dungeon begins. Oh, those are super annoying. I know these. They can fire you from anywhere. And uh, these are new though. They seem to have a weakness to giant hammers. It's smash them though can i have some of this money myself okay there's a lot of new things here and this is gonna make me a little bit stressed out again i don't know what these are okay can i just give you one of these he survived my initial hammer swing so i need to be careful for the big mechanical golem things the guys up here not so much like these i could probably just uh, don't do that everything here's got its own stupid attack pattern and it's all very stressful those guys up there are some of the worst because you got to kill them in a hurry or they'll shoot you from anywhere and these guys up here like i have no idea what that does the rat's clearly onto me already so we're gonna kill him from over here if we can i also don't know what that dainty looking creature oh okay he can reach me from there good to know well at least that happened early enough oh that's tricky and stressful nothing here is holding up to my damage not even close oh do i open another one of these think about how good it has to be at this point oh we can kill 10 things without getting hurt 
we do it all the time. So 10 enemies, a fire grenade, 5 plus plus. That's not even that good. That's really disappointing. I just took a huge risk for that, but we'll take more damage. And yeah, I guess we'll take this just because we kind of have to now. But that scroll did put us up to 5,500 DPS. The problem also now is I'm moving downwards toward enemies, uh, and they get hard to see. But he can have my bomb and also one of those. There's one enemy dead. So we'll hopefully just be able to um, continue on that trend. That way we don't have to take any huge risks. Because one hit and we're going to die. You can get a bomb. I love how that didn't actually hit him. That one did. And that, did that count as, what is that thing? Where did that come from? I just sort of happened to dodge that. But I don't know how to deal with that. Uh, not like that. Okay, we're just going to hurt you from a distance. You're going to teleport. Okay, I think I see its pattern. Okay, it's going to go there. We can smash. Uh-oh. Smash it. Was never worried. Not for a second. Okay, those are just those weak guys. I'm pretty sure I can go like that. <laughs> that murders both of them. Three more to kill. I'm hoping I can just drop grenades on these three before they notice I'm here. No, right, here you guys go. And curse lifted. I'm just here to make things look easy. Oh, you go through walls. That's annoying. And you're one of you, so let's kill you, like, right now. Also, I can't remember what you do. I'm pretty sure I can just out-damage you. You're an annoying that thing. You, I don't know what you are. You're not a great concern to me, because I can two-shot you. I forgot, too, that I'm slowing enemies once I hit them. That's definitely going to be a big help to me. If it's one of these cannon guys, they just fire a slow cannonball at you once in a while. I'm not that worried about slow cannonballs. Not really sure what to make of these, but I just probably won't touch any of this. I found... This at the bottom, $2,300 sounds cheap because I haven't been spending any money because I haven't found anything worth spending on. So this nightmare place kind of keeps getting worse because things like this show up. I have no idea what that was or why it was able to hit me from anywhere, but it sure did. But we're alive. That's all that matters. And we got one of these purple weirdos and some bats. That makes it all just a lot of fun. We're going to scoot past him and smash. Found another room. I didn't even check the bow and arrow because it's a bow and arrow. There's a ruby key, some heals. We don't really need any of that, do we? I did find another scroll, so we'll take whatever one of these. Might as well take the HP because neither are going to increase damage. And another scroll just on some random idiots that puts my DPS all the way up to 6200, which uh, is more than enough to kill things. Let's uh, hopefully test it on this guy as soon as we can. Um, well, this guy works too. <laughs> we one shot at him. If we stun him, yeah, we're just going to explode these. Okay, here's another good test. And, well, we more or less one-shotted him. Can't remember what... Yeah, those are the teleporters. He hit me, but we destroyed him. We can't quite one-shot these, but after this, we might. More brutality, 7200 DPS. I did find another shop. We're getting low on HP, so I don't really know what to do about that yet. I guess I can take the tonic for only 3100 and just get rid of that. Because that'll give me some health. Maybe that's only temporary. Okay, went back to the shop just so I could buy this for 2000 to restore some of my HP. Oh, we were at the end of the level anyway. I just didn't know that. There is one other route that's really sketchy to go through. I'm not touching that. I did just unlock some new things sort of accidentally. I'm going to take the Impaler over the bow because it's way more DPS. And I'm pretty sure it's similar to a bow. Well, sort of. It's like a stabby thing. I suddenly just realized the route I took. And it's the one now I have to live in darkness, basically. Or I can take this. And I think that actually helps me see a lot. Basically, you can't stay in the dark too long. I'm not touching this. Not in this level. Because as it is, I'm dealing with invisible teleporting idiots don't even know what those are okay they can teleport too outstanding and we're in the dark well they got a lot of my health if i get to jump on them i can do a lot of damage it's just really hard to get to jump on them because i can see very little don't know what that thing is what was that what what is it oh it's an enemy i'm supposed to kill that Okay, well, I got a big hammer for that job. Okay, now I'm getting attacked through the wall and all sorts of things. And there's also a big AoE dummy up there. This guy we can kill. Oh, I meant to get here quicker. That's okay, we got this. Uh, we'll just take more HP because that's going to give us a touch of healing right now. Okay, got into a bit of a weird spot there, but I think we're okay again. I basically just ran through a whole bunch of different stuff and some of them myself around here. So I sort of just kamikaze myself, took off half my health, and ran in the wrong direction. Okay, we're going to take another 20. 2 HP. We're gonna kill him before he has a chance to attack me. Did find another full-on scroll though, so <laughs> that's even more DPS. 8300. Don't know what that guy is, so we're gonna give him a little bit of space. There you go. Well, we burned the other enemy. I just need to know where that guy went. Oh, I killed him. And another scroll way out here in the dark. DPS is all the way up to 9500 now. We're about to, uh, about to break over 10,000 DPS. Oh, this is a bad hallway for me to be in should not have jumped in like I did. I was being a little bit overconfident. It happens that quickly. 10,000 DPS though.